Warriors, welcome back to Self Care Haven. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that's often discussed in conjunction with love bombing and that is known as future faking. Now future faking is the act of getting someone to imagine a future with you and giving all these false promises in order to achieve a specific agenda. The narcissistic or psychopathic partner may convince you that they are looking for a happy marriage in the future, kids with you. They may talk about getting a house with you. They may imagine, get you to imagine all of these lovely scenarios where they are in your future. They may talk about spending your birthday with you, spending the holidays with you. Drop hints like, I can't wait to name our kids. I can't wait to move in with you. I can't wait to do this or that. Now, future faking is very much in line with fast forwarding and love bombing in, in an intimate relationship with a narcissist or psychopath because when a narcissist or a psychopath love bombs you, they get you to imagine a future that often will not exist, or at least it will not exist in the way that you imagined it, because it will always be full of betrayal, deceit, abuse, and covert manipulation, and gaslighting, and triangulation. Now, as you can probably tell already, this is a very insidious method to get you to do something in the present moment that you might not otherwise do because you're investing in a future that you think will exist. In reality, the narcissist or the psychopathic individual uses future faking to lure you in into the abuse cycle, to love bomb you into believing that they are the one for you, that they're the ones who are going to deliver you the future that you've always imagined that they're the ones who are going to take you out on these romantic dinners, take you out on these vacations, take you out on all of these lavish adventures, or create a home with you, build with you, have the ideal family life with you. And by getting you to imagine that future, you begin to invest in them because you think this is a person that wants what I want. This is a person who can deliver me something that I've always desired or haven't even thought about, but perhaps they're making it sound really ideal. And this is the way that they get you under their spell. When you're no longer inhibited about disclosing your past traumas, disclosing your desires, disclosing the fact that you do want this future with them, then you are basically giving yourself to a stranger who may not deliver the dream that they promised, but rather they will deliver a nightmare. And as the narcissist or psychopath sinks their teeth into you and you get swept up in this whirlwind romance of Imagine what your children will look like, imagining the dream home that you'll purchase with them, imagining the lavish vacations, imagining the romantic dinners, and this could happen in a short period of time, like a week, or even a month, or even decades. There is really no time limit to future faking because it can happen within a day. Someone can promise you something and fail to deliver it. Now, I'm not talking about people for whom they may promise something and something else comes up legitimately and they're an empathic person and they make up for it. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about narcissistic and psychopathic individuals who go out with an agenda to hook victims and to get something out of them. This can also take place in modern dating culture. Future faking happens a lot in modern dating culture. If you've ever had someone who was only looking to sleep with you future fake their way into your pants or try to future fake their way into your pants, then you're probably familiar with this tactic already. This is someone who promises you the world, promises that they're looking for a genuine partnership and they love bomb the hell out of you. They admire all the qualities that you've always wanted to admire. They put you under their spell. They make you feel like you guys have a once-in-a-lifetime connection that can never be replicated. And they do this in order to get something from you, whether it be sex, whether it be explicit photos, or whether it be conversations of a more sexual nature. That's what happens in this kind of modern dating world as well. And in general, when it comes to dating these days, future faking ultimately wastes your time and energy because you start to put all of your eggs in one basket and you start to invest in this one person while foregoing your other options and trying to build something with this person who actually fails to deliver what they promised, whether what they promised was a romantic date or a future marriage or future ch children. And future faking can also happen long-term term as well. Someone may not 
future fake in the very beginning stages, maybe because they know that you're going to be suspicious of it, but they'll build up to it, right? They will try, they will promise you things months in or years into the relationship, and they will keep you anticipating that there's going to be some sort of reward for all this pain, all this turmoil, all this hot, hot and cold behavior, all these weird love triangles, these bizarre love triangles that psychopaths and narcissists love to put together. Whether it is investing in a week of love bombing or a month of a relationship and dating or years of being someone's boyfriend or girlfriend hoping for marriage, whether we have invested weeks or months or years, we don't want to walk away from something that we've spent a lot of time and energy into. And narcissists and psychopaths get us to spend a lot of our energy early on because they know that we are going to rely on reminiscing about the future that never occurred, that they never gave to us. The shock of something not quite working out is 10 times worse when you've been promised that it will work out. It's when you've been promised that there is going to be a bright future ahead, that they are going to be there to support you, and now they're nowhere to be found. And just like intermittent hot and cold behavior gets us to invest in the narcissist like an addictive gambler at a slot machine, future faking makes us so trauma bonded and addicted to the narcissist or psychopath at the end of a relationship that we are unable to cope or we feel like we're unable to cope because the devastation is so strong. We're devastated precisely because we did not get the future that we were promised would be delivered to us. And furthermore, we probably will engage in some form of self-blame, which can actually exacerbate PTSD and trauma-related symptoms because we have all these post-traumatic cognitions, negative cognitions that say, I'm the one to blame. How could I believe this? How could I be so foolish? How could I think that this stranger was going to give me something? And how could I have been exploited to give something in return before that future even happened? So you may have felt like you were used, abused, exploited in some way. Narcissists and psychopaths might solicit explicit pictures, photos, audios. They may get you to give them a loan. They may break up other relationships that you have going on or friendships in order to get you under their control and under their ultimate power. Whatever you've invested or however you felt exploited, and these are just examples, but however you felt exploited, it's a valid reaction to someone who has targeted you for a very specific purpose and agenda, whether that be for money or sex or special favors or status. It could be anything. They could have any kind of agenda in mind, but they will try to achieve it with future faking. Now, the important thing to remember when you've been future faked and love bombed and hoodwinked is that while you can take responsibility for watching out for the red flags in the future, there's really not much you could have done about being targeted in the first place. You didn't deserve this. You didn't deserve to be used or exploited. You didn't deserve to be debased and demeaned. You were trusting that this person may have been empathic like you and was seriously considering a future with you. The important thing is to learn from this experience and to realize that if something moves too quickly or too intensely, it's often because it's going to burn out just as quickly. So whether you're dating in hookup culture, kind of modern hookup culture, or whether you are looking for a relationship, or whether you are, or whether you're even looking for a good business deal, it can apply to so many situations. What you have to understand is that you don't invest in anybody else until you've organically gotten to know them and their patterns and their actions and their history. Much like you don't go to a restaurant and make reservations unless you've already explored their Yelp reviews. Much like you wouldn't want to invest in something unless you knew a lot about it, right? And that's the same thing with partnerships. Unless you know that person, unless you've actually spent a significant amount of time in person with them, and even then you may still not know them and who they are and their character, unless you observe their behavioral patterns, you have no way of telling if this person is even meant to be in your future or would even benefit your future. So the next time someone convinces you to imagine a future with them, be hesitant because you don't know if they're going to be part of your future plans or if you even want them to be part of your future plans. If you create a present reality that is so so desirable already and so abundant by itself, it's going to be a lot harder for future fakers to come in and try to spin you into believing in a better future with them because your present reality is already so desirable. 
your goals have been achieved, your career is thriving, your friendships are flourishing, your family life is awesome. If all those amazing things are happening in your life already, it's going to be harder for a love bomber to come in and promise you this kind of future that's even more appealing than your present reality. So that's why it's always important to also work on other facets of your life outside of intimate partnership. Think about what you want to achieve in your life, the goals that you want to build towards, the home you want to live in, friendships that you want to enjoy, the people that you want to spend time with. Start enjoying your alone time. Take yourself out on dates. Take yourself out on adventures. Travel solo. There are all sorts of things you could be doing today to create this kind of future that you want to build. If someone comes along and decides to be part of that future, that's one thing. But you've decided to create your own future. You've decided to create your own glorious future and it's going to make you a bit more immune to future faking and love bombing because you already know that you have goals in mind, you have dreams that you want to achieve, you have things that you are dying to accomplish and these can't be put on the back burner for a love bomber who wants to sell you these pretty words. And if you feel like you've already invested a great amount of time and energy and wasted a lot of yourself in this kind of future faking situation, then just know that you don't have to invest any more in order to get anything out of that investment. The most positive return you can get right now is to embrace your freedom, embrace the fact that you have clarity on the character of this person and that you can pursue a far better future without their manipulation and without the turmoil that this relationship would have brought. If you've ever been future faked or love bombed, I invite you to share your story in the comment section below if you feel comfortable doing so. I hope this video has been helpful to you and if you haven't checked out my new book yet, it's called The Highly Sensitive Person's Guide to Dealing with Toxic People, How to Reclaim Your Power from Narcissists and Other Manipulators. And one of the really cool things about this book is that it's been endorsed by a lot of clinical psychologists, including Dr. George Simon, author of In Cheap's Clothing, which I'm very honored by. So please do check it out. It's available in all major bookstores. So you can go to your local Barnes & Noble and pick it up. Or if you prefer, you can buy it on any online major retailer as well. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please do share your insights, your stories, and your comments below. I'll talk to you guys soon. And until next time, take care.